found my mother that had been murdered, so I called the police, and from there it started an investigation, and I ended up being charged with her with her crime. As two immigrants who came in from Jamaica, uh, they wanted something, and they eventually got to a point where they were able to save their money and do nice things. They bought themselves a home, only to have it all taken four years later. When I think about them and I think about myself, I just say, you know, you have to, you have to keep going, you know. Um, when it comes to prison and being in there for long periods of time, the question is not how, you just do. You just do. A lot of things that I do now, um, a lot of things I aspire to do, they were trying to give me when I was much smaller. Um, and sometimes, you know, just having your own ideals for things that you want to do. You know, because when you're 15, you know, you've got the world figured out. <laughs> so, um, now as a grown man, I see the things that they were trying to show me. Um, owning something, working hard, you know, sacrificing. And it's now at 46, I'm saying, okay, I get it. So, I get it. I always believed in me um, that something was gonna happen for me. Um, I didn't know what, I knew at times um, I would question it, I think anyone in that situation would. Like, is this ever gonna end? Is, you know, are, are we ever gonna get to the truth? But there's always that small portion of you, that small piece of you that believes that it'll be corrected. 